No problem. Brave Doug. <laughs> Stand still. Looks a little healthier than before. Yeah? Looks a little healthier than before. You must gather. Hope I didn't seem ungrateful back there in the battlefield. And you went out of your way. Got real close. Didn't expect that. Now for a second, I thought I was gonna finally see some answers. Foolish, of course. And why should I get answers? There's a world of Aethasians out there, don't know if their god's been blown up. Guess you'd know that well as anyone. I might have turned my back on my god when he needed me. That's all I'll ever know. He'd tell me to trust him. Of course, it'd be a lot easier if I knew it was mine. But, uh, maybe I don't need to. Something to think about, I guess. Hmm? If doubts and curiosity plague you, Huh. Huh. I suspect the answers will see. Tell me what you saw. It is the light of the god hammer you saw. It was a weapon of Deerwood's people, a symbol of their independence. It brought the Saints' War to an end, knocked a god from his perch. 
There are few that would deny Aeothis overstepped. The God Hammer reminded Aeothis of it. You saw its light because I helped shape it, give it life, and release it into the world. There were twelve of us. We fashioned the weapon, drafted plans for it, prayed for guidance at Ashfall, and it came to me there. Each of us were given a staff made from the forest of black trees around us, glowing with embers and fire far greater than this branch you see now. It felt as if the staff was Margren's own finger, guiding my hand, guiding the other eleven. Even in that stand, there was a ritual to it. For the twelve that stood on the bridge, there were a dozen shadows cast, a dozen faithful of Margren. As twelve held Aethys fast, we twelve unleashed our prayers and let the God Hammer fall. Shadows cast by the fire of the God Hammer, perhaps. And we shared their fate as well in time. Now the spine of the Deerwood is marked by the God Hammer. Not all deaths come with stilled breath and stilled heart, or other stilled passions beneath the waste. Some deaths come from silence. The connection we once shared with Magran. After the light of the God Hammer, it was not the same. It was as if we'd lost our senses, and sense of purpose as well. Not many can claim to have killed a god. It is less a heroic tale than you would think. And such a death, it changed our faith. All faiths, I expect. The world is broken. The wheel stilled. There is sickness in the world's heart. Perhaps the price of crossing a god. Crossing two gods. Even as Margren shaped our hands, perhaps we carried her will farther than was allowed. Just as Widewind did. Saint Widewind. Mortal arrogance to match mortal arrogance. Yet if the world had changed, then I sought to change with it. I remembered Margren's teachings. How reminders on the flesh were more important than the death of a vessel. And I wondered if killing Aethys, if that had simply set him free, had it allowed him to escape his punishment and be taken on the wheel like a mortal? As I stepped from the now-blessed Godhammer Bridge, I thought of Ashfall. I thought of the War of Black Trees, wondered if I needed to be burned to find myself again. The road to Ashfall is long, gives one time to think, and if you think long enough, you do not go home. I left without telling anyone of my fellow eleven craftsmen, disciples, I know not what happened to them, if they suffered the same doubt as I did. But it was underserved. It was wrong. There is something about being used and cast aside. Perhaps Widewen himself felt it. There at the end, when the hammer struck, I tried to find purpose and avoided all contact with other Magranic priests, did not seek the walls of Ashfall. I joined with the Purges for a time. And not long after came the first signs of the Hollowborn. So many crimes, trespasses, violations. The salvation. Animancers were another sickness born of the Saints' War. A relapse of innovation, of desperation to heal what we had caused. All... Huh? Worship the whims of some fickle bitch, and you'll never be more than dirt beneath her feet. Worship what she worships, on the other hand. Take her fire for your own, and her esteem comes on its own. You think to put the coals to my feet, but what's burned once will never burn again. These talks are your trial, Watcher. You cannot deflect the truth to one who has already been purified by it.
We put much of ourselves into the God Hammer. We all studied Widewin. He was our enemy, and he had provided the flesh the God wore as a cloak. That flesh made him vulnerable. I knew what fields his hands had tilled, his family, what he had harvested. You don't kill the God. You kill the man it inhabits. And you leave that man a ruin. Burn him to ash. The weapon was meant to not only burn his flesh, but it would burn his soul. Perhaps your eyes were blinded by the truth of the God Haver Watcher. I feel half a man at times, but even that is twice that of most others. If you fear for my spirit, your fears are baseless. The God Hammer, seeing its light, only fueled my anger and made me stronger. I do not need you to cast any more questions on me, Watcher. Nor did I ask you to look upon me without my leave. Hmm? Yeah? Got it. Hmm. Looks a little healthier than before. Would you look at this? Would you look at this? Would you look at this? Yeah? Hmm? Rave. Oh. 
Got it.
Solid Audra, hewn like marble. No, not carved, shaped. Done. You look at this. Would you look at this?
Would you look at this? Hmm? Eh? Let's go!
Yeah? Great. Let's go! Hmm? Got it. Would you look at this? Got it. Let's go! This was Gabranos. This was the great scholar I was looking for. The 
Ares. This can't be it. But the symbols... No. I was so close. Look, you can see, there's his name. And these symbols. Virtue. Oh, gods, the rest is too worn away. There must be something, a verse, even a word. Be like unto the waves, be wrathful as the sea, anything. Is there really nothing? Not even to explain this. Doubts and curiosity play. Got it.
Why not? There! Done! Looks It keeps coming along nicely. <laughs> 